Hello guys, welcome to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Here in this video, I will show you how to join old concrete slab with new slab. Okay, guys, this is a practical method and I have myself used this method in a construction site. Okay, and one of the students has asked me that, sir, I have a old slab and I have to join new slab on this concrete slab so how will i join okay so i have made this video for you now let us see what are the things to remember while joining the uh, old slab with new slab okay so first thing is we should not join new slab with old slab only with the help of cement slurry okay you have to use chemical on the joining area okay we should not only use the cement slurry okay so generally people do what only use cement slurry due to which there may be leakage uh, between the joining part of the concrete slab okay so we should avoid this we should use chemical i will tell you that which chemicals are best okay after that clean the joining surface of the old slab with the help of metallic brush completely okay uh, we should wash we should come uh, clear we should uh, clean this surface joining portion of the slab very clearly with the help of what metallic brush okay by rubbing this portion okay now uh, now next point is overlapping of reinforcement should be done okay for example this is our old slab then uh, there may be uh, some double bars okay uh, double bars is uh, the rods which has already taken out from the uh, slab is known as double bars okay and uh, uh, if we add a new slab in it then there must be uh, overlapping of this reinforcement from old slab to new slab okay this slab and this slab must be overlapped at the bit, uh, middle of this reinforcement okay now next point is joining portion of the slab should be sloped at 45 degree you can see in this slab this is uh, old slab and this one is new slab okay so this portion joining portion should be at least 45 degree slope okay and this also should be slope and after that we have to join this slab okay it should not be like this it should not uh, be at perpendicular at the joining portion okay now next point to remember is overlapping of the steel should not be less than 50 d okay this is the overlapping of the steel you can see in this picture okay so this overlapping length this length should not be less than how much 50 d for strong bonding and d is what d is the steel bars diameter of the steel bars okay if we have used this diameter of the steel bars as a 10 mm then overlapping should be how much 50 multiplied 10 is equals to how much 500 mm okay yeah, the unit should be in mm and we have to apply how much 500 mm as the overlapping length of the steel rod okay now next point is lapping should be welded or binded with wire properly about 5 inch to 6 inch okay so uh, if this overlapping has done then it should be welded or it should be binded with a wire uh, and this welding should be how much 5 inch to 6 inch now next things is casting should be done as soon as possi uh, possible while we applying chemical on the old slab okay now uh, if we apply chemical on this uh, before i have told you that we have to apply chemical on the old slab after applying this chemical we should pour this concrete within how much 15 minutes to 20 minutes i am telling you later in this video okay now let us move to the procedure to join the old slab with new slab okay so first of all clean the joining surface of the old slab the old slab surface should be cleaned properly in first step after that apply bonding agent okay so bonding agent uh, chemical on the clean surface with the help of brush okay so with the help of brush we have to apply this chemical on the uh, joining portion of the slab okay so chemical uh, agent may be Shikadu 32 doctor fix it any of this i am not promoting the uh, promoting this uh, uh, chemicals okay you can use any of uh, them as a bonding agent okay so i generally use uh, on the construction side is Shikadu 32 okay so let us uh, see the example of Shikadu 32 how can we apply uh, this chemical to join the new slab with old slab okay so first of all uh, a shikadur contains two chemical okay uh, uh, white a chemical and uh, b chemical which is uh, i think uh, light black okay so uh, shikadur 
packet of Sikadur contains two chemical after that mix both of them in one is to two ratio for example if we take one chemical in one kg then another chemical should be two kg it if it is one kg then it should be two kg or okay but it depends on the uh, types of chemical used in the construction after that apply on concrete and pour the concrete within how much minute 15 minutes to 20 minutes because it become hardened and it will not work properly okay after that after pouring vibrator should be used to compact the concrete properly after pouring the concrete we have to use what vibrator to compact the concrete properly and and the strength of the joining becomes hard okay now guys after pouring concrete on the joining uh, portion or we have uh, formed the new slab then checklist uh, what are the checklist we have to do okay so let us see check whether the shuttering below the new slab is leakage or not guys this you can see the wooden part below the steel rod is known as shuttering or form up okay so we have to see that uh, the shuttering is proper or not okay if there is leakage then water in the concrete may fall down and the concrete may not uh, uh, get the proper strength okay after that check if there is proper clear cover in the slab or not the slab we have made uh, as a new then we should check the clear cover of the slab okay clear cover means what the distance between the upper surface of the concrete and the steel rod okay this is not a clear cover after that check whether the proper compacting has done or not if there is proper compacting in the concrete or not okay after that check whether the slope of new slab matching with the old slab or not if the if the slope of this slab is for example one degree then the slope of this slab also should be how much one degree otherwise there may be unequal distribution of the slope and uh, it may settle down okay so guys these are the checklist of the concrete pouring and uh, procedure to join old slab with new slab okay so in this way we can join old slab with a new slab in a safe way so this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you